What's happening YouTube? This is TLR Theory here, here to present to you Game Keyboard 2.0. Now while Xperia Play already has more games compatible with it than anything else on the market, the software I'm about to show you here is actually going to take it way over the top. Because in addition to the 300 or so games, this piece of software allows you to map any touchscreen presses to Xperia Play's hardware keyboard meaning that any game on Android can pretty much be played with the Xperia Play's gamepad key so no more trying to control fighters with touch buttons or no more trying to dash without having proper input response so first of all first of all I'm going to tell you with my launcher is because I know someone's going to ask this launcher you see here is called SS Launcher and it allows a sort of Windows 7 design. Just handle that because I know someone's going to ask. And let's start all the way from the beginning. Keyboard. You see Game Keyboard by Locknet, just to assure that you're getting the right one. I don't think there's any off brands. I think I just revealed my email. Not that everyone can't find it already. Alright, let's get straight to business and how to set this thing up. You want to rotate for me? There we go. Now, first order of business is getting this thing set up. Game keyboard is recognized by as an alternate keyboard, so thusly you'll have to go into the language and keyboard settings to get everything activated, just like you would everything. And then go to the input method by long pressing there. And you tap and you see game keyboard. And now we'll just go through here and change some required settings. Okay, eight way D pads already selected. And we'll also need to select touchscreen mode to make sure it's performing touchscreen actions with physical keys. Then next up on the list is checking remap hard key because we're going to need to change the X and circle keys and in hard key mapping oops, what you'll do is select the key that you want to change and then change it to whatever you want it to be so d-pad center we want that to show up as gamepad A and we want game pet circle remap circle to be game pad B now from then on we can actually stop remapping buttons because triangles already set up as Y and squares already set up as X and of course the left and right bumpers are already set up and for the Xperia play you have new email We'll also have to hit it in the 8 buttons mode so that we can actually see 8 buttons render here. Also, one other thing to bring up is that it does require root. It needs to have super user access. But luckily, if you own an Xperia Play, you can Zerg rush root this thing in a matter of seconds, no matter what firmware you're on. So that shouldn't be an obstacle. So let's go ahead and get into showing you how you'll set this up for each individual game. Most of the times it'll be pretty easy. I'm going to demonstrate with Street Fighter 4 HD. This game isn't actually supposed to be on the Xperia Play. It's specialized for LG phones. But we all know I'm not going to sit back and take that. Just letting you know so that you can expect a modicum of instability if it were to arise while I'm playing this. Well, let's just do a practice match for now.
And we'll go up against Ava. I always play Ken. Even though everyone knows Ryu is much stronger. Ken's my main guy. Now native, we all know that it only controls with touch screen, and if I didn't have game keyboard on, that wouldn't change. But luckily, we have game keyboard to change all that. Now the normal way you'll be able to set most games up is just by holding down the menu key here, and it'll automatically bring up the keyboard. Ah, one thing I forgot to do already. have done this earlier but we'll have to go into layout edit and allow layout edit mode that way we can touch to drag any keys that show up and let's return back to Street Fighter Ah, oh, gotta start all over here no big Okay, now we're in business, and we can just drag keys wherever we want them. Now if you've seen the Xbox controller, you might be asking why the hell is there an Xbox controller here? It's because Game Keyboard's Loud is more akin to an Xbox controller than it is actual PlayStation format. So I'm sort of going to be mapping it here to consider how it would look if it were an Xbox controller. So we'd have Y on top here. X over here, B up there, and A on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and put the left and right buttons on these super and ultras. And Z and C, I'm actually going to use those as start and select, but that's later. As you can see, now we have full movement with physical controls. And even better is that in some games we can go into the configuration and get rid of this goddamn on-screen bulk. There we go. to another game that shows the other way you'll have to set up games. Oh wow, I just made my whole phone unstable just messing with Street Fighter 4. Give it a sec. Nah. I don't need to force close anything. Okay. After that extreme delay we can get on to Destinia. 
This is still set up for Street Fighter, so... Here we run into sort of an issue because trying to press down the menu button is already set up to save games on here. So there's another way we'll have to get around that. Which will be going into Game Keyboard and tapping to call out the keyboard after exit. And then from there on, it's just like what we're used to. I'm actually going to put both Y and the B button on that for my own reasons. And just like that we have any old game can be optimized manually to play on Xperia Play's gamepad keys. I don't have any more MP to show off my other skills. But you can have each key mapped to shortcuts if you like too. And one more game. This is one I love to show off just because it's a wonderful quality game for the Android platform. And the developers were sort of adamant against saying that, it, or admitting that it would work well with Xperia Play. I'm gonna go ahead and skip all these cutscenes just so I can get something. What kind of world do we live in where Skip doesn't actually skip the whole cutscene? And this is another game where we'll have to use our trick on. So call out the keyboard after exit. Oh, are you really going to attack me while I'm setting up my keyboard? There we go. And it's working perfectly with this keyboard. Now if you saw the betas, you notice, you might remember that I said there is no diagonals, and some keys would occasionally lock up. Of course, this is all resolved in this full version of Game Keyboard 2.0. Alright, that's all I'll show you of this game. And I said that there was the last one, but I'm going to do one more. Just to show some love for fans of Ease that have heard of this game. First off, let's get away from the enemy so I can safely set everything up. Perfect.
All right, and I think that's actually where I'm going to wrap up this video. As mentioned before, all of these games were previously touchscreen only and had no physical key compatibility whatsoever until Game Keyboard came along. And of course, this is 2.0. It's already released on the market and anyone can get it. I believe the price on it was $1.99 or $2.99. Either way, it's still worth it, just considering that it makes pretty much any Android game compatible with Xperia Play's controls. And I'll be offering on my forums a service where I export my profiles and allow people to just simply get to my profiles instead of having to set them up. Which will make things even easier. Alright, this is TLR out. Enjoy the software.